Well, hello there, fellas, and welcome back to another video of the Android Soundboard project. So today we want to take our first steps to get the favorites feature done. For that, we will use a SQLite database where we first will save all sounds and then save selected sounds in an extra favorite table. So let's get started and let us create the basic structure of the database. For that, we will create a new class called database handler. So after creating this class and deleting this little comment here, we want to extend an SQLite open helper. Then implement the basic methods and also implement an cons a constructor. In this constructor, we won't need the name factory in the version cause we want to work with some static uh, version name and factory. So first let us set some basic things like the lock tag to lock any errors. We'll call that database handler. So after that, uh, we want to just copy the private stick final string because we will need that a lot in this class. And then uh, let us define the name of our da database. So I'm calling it just soundboard.db. So um, keep in mind, you have to use the .db ending. And we want to, well, define an database version. And we will set this one to one and won't change it in the future because our update process of the database is uh, going to be handled by the version code we defined in our build Gradle. So every time you change it, and you have to change it if you're updating your uh, app uh, for the App Store, uh, well, we update the database. So, and now we want to uh, set all parameters for our main table, where we will store all our sounds. So first of all, we have to define a table name. We will call that, well, main underscore table. And then the second thing is we need an uh, row for the ID, for the unique ID. And, uh, well, we will call that main underscore ID. And then uh, we will type underscore ID because that's, well, the preset for this ID. Next, we will need an well, an item name, uh, we call it sound name here. And then we also need a um, sound ID for our resource IDs. So call it sound ID. And then, uh, we want to create the favorites table for all our favorites, uh, favorite sounds. So uh, as before, we need a table name. We will call that uh, favorites t underscore table, I think. So next we need uh, an ID for the row. And well, it actually will be the same as before. It will be an underscore ID. And we also need a favorite name. I'm calling it Favo name just to, well, uh, if, in case if we have to hard code it. And then we also need a favorites item ID, which I call Favo ID. Well, we created all our parameters for the tables. Now we have to create the SQL statement to create those tables. And to do that, we also define a private static final string 
we call SQL create main table. And this one gets a bit tricky, so we have to open this string and type in create table if not exist. And then uh, we have to add the table name. Next, uh, we want to open the parameters. And then, uh, well, we want to give it an ID. This will be actually be an integer and a primary key uh, will be auto incremented. So got there some thing wrong. And then next thing is our main name or the sound name that will be text. And uh, last but not least, we have the favorites item ID, uh, main, uh, mean the main item ID, which will be an integer. And this one is unique because there can only be one uh, sound with this resource ID. So close it and then, well, close the line here. And uh, we also have to do the same thing for the favorites table. And actually that's the same code with just a pretty little difference. So um, you can just copy and paste the line before and change the parameters. And well, let's do it here. and change this to favorites table. Then the favorites ID, the favorites name, and also the favorites item ID. And the special thing here is that this will be unique here because when we update the app, it could be, a th uh, well, there will could be some interferences. So uh, we shouldn't, let this one be unique. So then just uh, change the constructor. So the name is our database name. And we don't really have a factory, so we can set that to null. And then the version is our database version. Then just some simple things to do now. So we want to well, create our tables when this database is created. So we're using a try block, catch the exception, and uh, well, then just logging it to our log as an error. So log tag, if there's any exception, then, uh, and then the message will be something like failed to initialize a database and then just give it the message from the exception. So now uh, we only have to write one or two lines and we want the database to execute an SQL and we want to execute the create main table. And after that, we want to create the favorites table. And then uh, just let us go on, the, on upgrade. We won't really need this function, but in case if it gets caught somehow, we want to drop the main table so uh, we can set it up new. And uh, well, afterwards, then just, well, call on create with the database instance. Well, that's it for this video, I think. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Leave a like if you liked it. And well, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.